All right, Gary, simple question. Where did Kike Setien and Barcelona go wrong today in this matchup? And giving Kike Setien the job oh, would be a good start okay. there, you okay. know. I'm, I'm a big Valverde fan, but here's, here's the big question for Barcelona fans. You want a possession football, right? They got it today, 74%. Yeah. Are you happy? Because you want a Valverde out because he wouldn't play possession football. To me, it's about results. They got rid of a guy who was doing a great job. They brought in someone else. That's the worst first half I have seen from Barcelona. And once again, the goalkeeper makes five saves. More in 31 minutes than in the full entirety of every matchup. So it was now. worse than the 1-0. Uh, they, they won. They beat Atletico Madrid. But that first half against Atleti at the Wanda was pretty bad, too. It was worse than that. This is worse. I mean, Ooh. they didn't even test the opposition keeper. There wasn't one decent shot in the first half. Yeah. Throughout Messi, Messi struggled. At 11 shots. So we're hardly on target. He's battling, but there's something wrong with the team. There's some vibe missing. Yeah. The thing is, is everyone, like you said, it, it, the hashtag Valverde out. He's he's what's going wrong in Barcelona. But you look at the stats. You look at the passes. Even when they passed, what was it, 102 passes their first game yeah. under Kiki Setien. They're still not dangerous in that final third. You can possess the ball, but it's what you do with it—a yes. possession yeah. with purpose. And right now, they don't have a midfield that is like a Chavi that is getting those like those killer passes through that's allowing Ansu Fati, Griezmann and Messi yeah. to make those darting runs in between in behind the back four the midfield for me are playing too safe now Busquets we kind of know what we get from him he he breaks everything up he's a fantastic player to have but when you're uh, like De Jong in that midfield and Artur in that midfield you need to be dangerous when you're playing with people up top like a Messi you need to get him the ball but it needs to be in those dangerous spaces okay so. let me let me ask you something real quick before we hear from Kike Setien it's only the third game together and True. a complete change of system yeah. Are, aren't people overreacting a, a little bit well, well, to a good well, team like Valencia? Look, look at the games. They beat Granada 1-0. Yeah. And okay. they struggled, struggled to break. And they had to go down to 10 men Granada before they beat them. They played Ibiza in the cup. Yeah. And we're losing 1-0. And Griezmann pops up with a 90-second minute goal to save their blushes. And today they get absolutely pasted. So yeah. even with a new system, it's well, not Well, Ansu good. Fati is a wingback. Seriously. The kid stuck yeah. up there. He wasn't able to come back. So now you really are playing with three in defense because you've asked Jordi Alba to go up. Yeah. Ansu Fati is not coming back, so no wonder they get they get caught out for the third goal. Mm -hmm. Sergio Roberto is trying to cover PK, then he's trying to come back. I mean, it's, it's a yeah. system that, that isn't good. The whole back line looked a bit shaky. Yeah. Mtiti and PK, they, because of people bombing on, they're having to fill these spaces that they're not used to filling. So it will take time. Yes, it's only game or third, third game, game in. Right. Under Can I get worse? Oh. Like you said, <laughs> I think it was the wrong timing to bring in a new coach. Oh.